Recently, with the launch of vSphere 7, we also launched vSense 7. And with vSense 7, we had a new capability in native file services. Our friends at Veeam as well, interestingly enough, launched version 10 of their software. What we would like to find out today is if vSense file services actually work with Veeam's backup services. It is fairly common with every release of new software or new storage, we generally ask the next logical question, how do we back this up? So I did a little bit of looking around and I realized the latest and greatest backup software from Veeam actually has NAS backup. Not only do they have NAS backup, they are calling it the seriously powerful NAS backup. Actually, I like the name already. So one of the key differentiators on that platform is actually the change file tracking. This is very similar to the change block tracking that you find in VMware traditional block services. Effectively, what it does is that it does the journaling of whatever that's changed in the file system. And when you do incremental backups, it becomes a lot, a lot faster. So let's dive right in into the software and see how it works. Uh, just a quick disclaimer here, I am not very familiar with version 10. Uh, so this is just going to be the first time I'm doing it and it's going to be interesting. So here we are in uh, vCenter. So just going to expand on file services just to make sure everything's there. So we can see it's all set up. Browse the shares. I've got actually three shares set up for today. So let's see if we can back up temp. Let's see where it's hosted. It's on 57 slash temp. Okay. Let's jump ahead into the Veeam console. Looks very, very much the same like previously. Um, there is a file section here and let's go uh, under inventory and file share. I'd like to add a file share. So whatever that is created and configured on vSAN is actually an FS file share. So let's do that. Okay. I think it was 192.168057. Temp. Let's see what's in advance. Backup directly from file share. Yep, want to do that. Uh, all proxies. Just leave everything as default. And it's doing something. Cool, that was easy. So go next, finish, and I should see file shares created there. Um, maybe just for completeness, I'll add the other prod logs as well. Let's see what it is. 55. Okay, let's add another. Next. Right, that was easy. Now let's go to home and uh, see if we can create a backup job. That's for Linux. Um, I'll call this vSAN files backup one. Okay, I'll leave everything as default. Go next, let's add those folders in. There's prod logs. I've also got temp. Maybe I'll do temp first. And I will also add prod logs in. Go next. I will keep this for seven days. Go next. Next. Uh, I'll run this at 10 every day. Apply. I want to run this when I complete. see the running job to be honest i must say this is relatively simple in, in a scale of things um, um to be really honest i didn't actually really read any documentations i was just kind of you know intuitively kind of just guiding myself through the console um, so I think that's pretty much it from the backup perspective. So let's wait for this to complete 
and then uh, let's do some recovery after. So now the backup is complete, um, I'll pull up the temp folder there. So as you can see, I've got about 10 files in there, about 20 megs each. I would like to kind of delete five of these files. All right, so the next thing to do is restore five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's try to do that. Restore. I'll share, I want to restore individual files from this job in the temp folder. Okay, so these are all the files that I have from the last backup. So let's restore five to 10. Good restore, and I would like to override. Let's see some details. And that's it. Uh, restore completed successfully. Let's double check. There you go. 5 to 10. So what do you guys think? Generally, in my opinion, backup softwares are a lot more complex than they often really need to be. And because of that, I really have to give it to the guys at Veeam. It is so simple that for a tech-savvy guy, the learning curve is close to zero. And most importantly, it actually works with yours truly, Visa and File Services. And with that, thanks for watching and do subscribe if you enjoy what you're seeing and uh, till next time.